All right, so we're getting ready to get started here on brew day. It's uh, March, so of course we're going to brew a uh, Oktoberfest beer. This time I'm going to be doing a new method. We're going to be using a um, double decoction method. So as you can see over here, got our wonderful mash tun. Got that all set, thermal well, everything's ready to go. Right down inside there you can see the, the grain filter. Got the brew pot over here on the side. Equipment wise, got our one quart ladle that we'll use to take out all of the, the grains and uh, decoct those up to the right temperatures. Got the uh, brew kettle, we'll eventually get to that point later. And then uh, the hot liquor tank, of course, as well. Of course, you've got to have your wonderful grains. So, I've already pre measured out, I've got about 15 pounds of various uh, select grains for this brew. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put those in the uh, grain mill right here. And go ahead and start getting those all ready to mash in. First thing we're going to do though is we're going to add some water and bring the water up to the initial strike temperature. We're going to probably get it up to around 90 degrees or so and then uh, get everything started from there. There we are, I'm nice. crushing all the grain. So as you can see, we've got all of our grain now. It's all nicely crushed and ready to go. We've got our uh, mash tun all prepped, ready. You can see the temperature right there. We're just below 100, right at about 96, 98 degrees for a stark strike temp. We're gonna go ahead and dough in at around that temperature. It's gonna help flood all those wonderful grains and help uh, get all those wonderful enzymes out of the grain that we're looking for take all of our wonderful grain and start putting that into the mash tun. We'll dough it in. Again, when you're doughing in, you want to avoid any kind of dough balls. And when you're using, if you've got a good mash paddle, you're going to feel it. It's going to feel like a little golf ball or, you know, even sometimes as big as a softball. It's going to be inside there. Put some of that down and stir it up. You're going to feel that inside your mash. And you're going to feel those clumps and you really want to make sure you break those apart because if those start to harden as those dough balls, you're really not going to be able to mash anything out of that and you're going to lose all your extract yield. But again, we're doughing in right now, probably right around 96 degrees strike temp or so. Again, you notice I'm not putting it all in at once. I'm doing a nice gradual dough in. Again, that's just a preference. If you got somebody with you, they can dump these grains in while you're mashing with the paddle. And that uh, is just because I'm by myself, so it's just a personal preference to uh, help prevent any kind of dough balls from forming uh, within the mash because you really don't want you don't want to lose anything you can out of this. So this should be a nice, beautiful. Oktoberfest that we've got going here on the grains. It's already starting to smell wonderful. A word of advice, you use a bucket. You can see on there, beer grain only. Use it only for beer grain. Don't be mixing them back and forth, sanitizer and water and whatnot. Take a bucket, make it its purpose and stick with it. I mean the things are only like three dollars over at Lowe's anyway, so